Lights, camera, action. Welcome to Pennyweight Films. Today, we're talking all about how to capture wildlife photography and videography. Me and my friend Trevor went scouting for wildlife on Antelope Island, and we had an insane adventure. Now, first and foremost, we just want to advise whenever dealing with wildlife, please do not be a Tauron. This guy is being extremely stupid, and you should never approach a wild animal at an unsafe distance. It's really windy. I don't know if you guys can hear the wind through the mic. I'm sure you can. Uh, and yeah, so it's been uh, it's been fun using this zoom lens we got on here. It's a uh, 100-400, and throwing that on there uh, has been a challenge with the wind because every time the wind picks up, it's just shaking nonstop or nonstop. So uh, yeah, we're gonna drive around. There's some. Uh, some bison over there and we want to get a better shot at them but they're just so far out so we're gonna drive around and see what we can get i still had to slow my footage down and stabilize it because of how strong the winds were i definitely would recommend to avoid windy areas so i'm not a wildlife photographer by any means uh, but trevor my friend uh, he is he's a professional at this and um, it's a lot harder than I thought it'd be. Uh, these animals are moving really quickly and trying to pull focus and set my shot has proven to be more challenging for me than I expected it to be. Um, so yeah, we'll see what we actually can get today. We weren't having much luck finding wildlife, so Trevor pulled out his flute and insisted on performing a ritual that he refers to as manifesting. We had better luck since manifesting, and we stumbled across these bison. Like I mentioned before, I'm not the greatest at wildlife photos or video, so here's some tips from Trevor. Top tips when it comes to wildlife photography, um, I would probably start off by saying mornings and afternoons are probably going to be the most ideal time to try and find wildlife. And so I would say get up early and get out early. The second thing I would say is do some research. And if there's something you're trying to photograph in particular, I would say read up on that particular subject. You have to do your research and figure out what it is you're trying to take photos of. If you're just trying to go out and you don't necessarily care what wildlife, you just wanna try and photograph all wildlife, then that brings me to my next tip, which would be probably to be always ready to go. So um, a lot of times tripods can be very helpful and also they can be a huge hindrance because if you're trying to worry about setting up a tripod, you're gonna be getting in your own way um, and it's gonna eat up all the time that the animal was moving and maybe you missed the shot. So be always ready to go, ready to shoot. So if you need to, ditch the tripod altogether and just shoot. Another tip I would say is a good lens. Um, a telephoto lens is going to be ideal because it'll help get you up close and personal with the animals. That's not to say that you can't get good shots with other lenses, but a good telephoto lens is going to really help you capture and engage with the animal on a more intimate and personal level. It gets you closer and keeps you safe as well. I made a video for myself talking about rejection in photography and it's part of life and I think that photography can teach us a lot even in our failures and I think it's so important not to give up and to continue on and it's easier said than done and there's going to be times, myself included, where you feel like giving up, you feel like throwing in the towel, you feel like you're never going to capture that animal, you're never going to capture that landscape, you're never going to do it justice, but if you keep trying, you keep developing, you just get out and you just keep shooting, I promise you will improve. And I promise there are lessons that photography will teach you that you do not even realize that it is teaching you just through observation. At the end of the day, we got to see some really cool bison and we even got the opportunity to see these really cool horned owls. Definitely an adventure for me 
and hopefully an adventure for you. If you like this video, make sure to smash the subscribe button and leave me a like. Also, make sure to comment down below what you'd like to see next. Keep shooting that shot and never give up. And cut.